guys, my name is Melissa and you're watching Makeover with Mel. In this video, we're going to do a wear test on a new foundation, Revlon Candid. And I've got it on now. And if you want to watch me get ready, just keep on watching. All right. So today I've already moisturized, cleaned, and moisturized my face. This is like a rerun, huh? I've been doing a lot of little of these get ready with me's. But I like them because I get to chit chat and things like that. But I like to try out new foundations. And I got a new one today. And it is the Revlon New Candid. And I got it in 340. So I'm hoping it's not too dark. It's got like a pinkish kind of tone to it. So I'm hoping it, I hope it works. If not, we're going to make it work. But I'm going to start out with Smashbox Pore Filler. Yeah, I got it in a boxy charm. And I think that's where I got it. And if I can remember, I will link all the items that I'm using down below. But we are going in with this for the pore filler. Where I need it the most. Which is on my cheeks. And my nose. Because I have... When I had chicken pox when I was a little girl, I had them all over my face. And when they, and of course I had to scratch, I was a kid. And they uh, left little bitty hose right up in here around my nose. So I like to use the pore filler to try to fill them in. It doesn't work perfectly, but, but I like that Smashbox because it's so smoothing. It's just so soft. And it's very lightweight. Then I'm going to go in with the, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Moisturizer. I'm just going to put a little bit on my face. And it's in a tube like this. I just had the... No, I bought these. I didn't get them in a BoxyCharm. I remember I bought them now because I got the whole set. It was like a miniature set of everything. But we're going in with a little bit of that to help hang on to the foundation. And just put it all over. I sweat. I have to work today. It's Saturday, but I still have to work for 10 hours. And uh, so I'm just going to check in throughout the day of how it's hanging on. And uh, we'll see how it does and see how it lasts. And it's, it runs $8.46, I believe. I got mine at Walmart. I'll link it below. But I believe it was $8.46. And I'm going to set everything down over here that I'm going to link so I don't forget. Some things I may not be able to link because I don't know if I'll find them or not. But if I do, I do. <laughs> I'm going to use a sponge on one side and then the brush on the other side and see which one does the best. And then whichever one I like the best, well, I may just leave it like that. One side with a sponge, one side with a brush. Okay, we got our sponge. I'm going to do the right side with the sponge. And then I'll do the left side with my brush. But I love the packaging. It's like a little squeezy tube, kind of like toothpaste. And then it has a pump. And it's super adorable. When you start running out, you can roll it down like you do toothpaste if it's not too stiff. But you can roll it down like toothpaste and get every bit of it. I like it. So I'm going to put just a little bit on my sponge to do one side. So yesterday, um, I got to go get one of my tests done, which is the EKG for pre-op. And I won't know till Tuesday whether that come out okay. For those of you who've never watched me before, I'm in the process of having the surgery done, the sleeve. I'm hoping it'll be done in November, but I have to have all these certain little tests done and stuff and uh, do a weight, six month weight loss treatment before I can have the surgery. 
And so I'm in the process of getting all that. What are these little things? Okay, I got a new bump on my face that I had never seen before. I know my hair looks horrible. Let's go back to my surgery. I'm jumping around too much. I'm sorry. But yeah, I got my EKG done. That didn't take but about 45 minutes. Then I went to Walmart for my mom and got her groceries. She's supposed to have went with me, but she got sick, which was not good. All right. That's one side. What do you guys think? Does that match? I don't think anything's going to match my color tone. Because I'm so red. The other side, we're going to do the trusty brush. And it's so cute. You just pump it out. Just like that. And we're going to do it on the left side of the face. But, yeah, she, when I got back, she felt better, but she's supposed to went and got her hair cut and, and got her groceries and all that good stuff. But, but she felt better when I got back. But I went and had all that done. And then the rest of the day, I cleaned house and done laundry. Laundry, laundry is, sorry about that, guys. My alarm started going off. But, I usually have to hit snooze five or six times, and, but yeah. But all my alarms started going off in, in the middle of me recording. Okay. All right, that's the... I wish I knew what this right here was. I don't have it on this side, just this side. If you guys know, let me, there's no tooth there, so it's nothing like that, but. Okay, so that is my foundation. Now I'm going in with, I'm going to a dirt track race tonight after work, and the hubby's picking me up, so I've got a lot of my stuff packed already. This is the Wet n' Wild Contour. But I guess you call, I would call it a bronzer. I don't, that's what I use it for. No, I guess it is contour. You can tell I'm no beauty guru. But I just put it on my face like that. And then I take my trusty little sponge and I swipe upwards. Hold all the fat down. But yeah, I was talking about my surgery. So I got the EKG done. I go August the 13th for my consultation for my sleep apnea. I have to have that done. And then they will do the esophageal check where they go down in my throat and check my stomach. They will set that up. I have to have a psych evaluation. No rude comments. <laughs> I have to have a psych evaluation. And then I still like four more months of my weight loss training. I've lost 10 pounds so far. Weight loss training. My weight loss thing. Um, now, we're going to do eyebrows. I feel like I'm forgetting something. My eyebrows, I use Maybelline Tattoo Studio. And it comes in a little pod like this. Super cute. And I love it. It comes with a little brush with the dual-ended purpose on there. And I'm going to use my trusty little mirror so I can get it. I never can get them even. So we're going to try today. I think it's about time for some new. I'm starting to hit pan on it. I am. Uh, I have seriously, I have really dark hair, but normally it's a dishwasher, dishwash blonde, dishwater blonde, yeah. And um, 
I think I've said this in another video. I'm not for sure, but I didn't get no comments. But I dye it to cover up the gray. And it's really thinning out, too, just to throw that in there. But I'm seriously thinking about going back to a blonde. Like a... Not a white blonde and not a silver blonde, but like an oatmeal blonde. But you guys let me know in the comments below what you think. I know you've never seen me as a blonde. Um... I do have pictures, I think. If I can find them, I'll link them. Or I'll put them up on the screen. Of how I used to look as a blonde. I don't know. I just think it would be fun. Something different. And I'm getting that all over me. But I think it would be fun and something different. Plus, with me trying to do this. Or should I wait until I have the surgery. And I get my weight off and everything. And just do a drastic change. Something new. But you guys leave me a comment below of what you think I should do. Just leave it alone or or wait until after the weight loss or do it now. Because I need a change. I need something different. When I tell you, I didn't get them even. I could spend an hour just on my eyebrow. Some days when I go to do my eyebrows, they turn out perfect and fast. But other days, nope, not so much. And then I'm going to go in with the brush side and try to brush that a little bit. I don't know why, but one side always looks thicker than the other. I'm starting to finally get over this cold. Finally. I'm packing my stuff up as I go, as I use it. I don't know what color eyeshadow I want to wear today. I know I always use um, the, my full eye. I use this little pod. It's cream brulee, and it's by Wet n Wild. You can get it for like 98 cents at Walmart. I cover my whole eye with it every time. Every time. I didn't put no uh, eye primer on because I just used... My foundation and all that on there. My nose is starting to run. Even though I'm I'm getting over this cold. But my nose still wants to run and blow all the time. I hope this foundation works out. Where's my... Oh, there it is. I didn't blend that very good. I seen a, a line there. But let's go on with the eyes. I just cover the whole eyelid in this. Let me put that over there so I'll be sure to. And the brushes that I use, majority of them for Wet n Wild, they're just cheap little brushes, but they're good brushes. To be so cheap, they're extremely good brushes. Um. Uh, my eyebrows are done. I'm like flubbergasted. I don't know. After the foundation, I don't know what to use. I guess I'm going to go in with uh, my Royals palette, Bad Habit. Really pretty colors. Absolutely love it. It lasts all day. And each one has a different name. And I think I'm going to use Honor today, which is this one right here. I'm just going to do one color on the lid since I'm going to work. I like to rub it in there and knock off the excess. Let me see if I can't use my little mirror here so you can watch. But I'll just go back and forth. And it's best to just build it up and not put it all on at one time. And I have droopy eyelids, extremely droopy eyelids. Some days are worse than others. But especially this eye, it's more droopier than this one is. And I guess where I had the loose skin on my eyes and the droopiness, it tends to see how much darker it is right here than it is the rest of it. 
And I try to smooth that out, but it's still... See how much bolder that is right there? Let me see if I can't go in with another brush. Hmm, huh, I'm gonna find one. No, let's do this one. Make sure ain't nothing on it. And maybe I can smooth that out a little bit. Now, if I was doing a, a darker color on the edge, that would be fine. But see, it's still even. Looks darker. And it still looks darker. Oh, well, we're just going to have to go with it. Maybe once I get my eyelashes and stuff on, you won't notice it as bad. But I rub that in there and I get off the excess. So that way you don't get it all over your the rest of your face. I hate when you get a lot of fallout and then you go to wipe it off your face and then you end up wiping off your blush if you've got it on and your foundation and your smearing and I hate that. Sometimes I feel like YouTube just hates me because I watch a lot of YouTubers, you know, the fashion ones and stuff and the makeups and the get ready with me and the hauls and, and you see their, their videos advertised and so I don't know if it's just because it's the ones that I'm uh, linked to, you know, the bells and all that good stuff, but I just feel like YouTube hates me because I go, I'll use my son's phone and I'll go on YouTube. And I'll even put in there, makeover with mail. Um, or a video that I know I've done. And you'll get all these videos that you can watch. And I'll go through hundreds before I'll ever see mine. And I'm like, no wonder, you know, I don't get subscribers because you can't never find my videos. It's like they don't want to, they don't want to post my videos. That's the way I feel. But what can you do about it, you know? How else are you supposed to get yourself out there if YouTube don't get you out there for you? Get, get yourself out there. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know if there is anything I can do other than just keep posting like I post. Because I post, I try to post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you would think my videos would be up there. And I do it because I enjoy it. I feel like you all are actually my friends. And I do it because I enjoy it. And I hope that sometimes you all learn something from me. I hope you do. And I love the comments that I get. That makes me really feel like I'm interacting with you when I get comments. So I love comments. So all the comments are very welcome. The good ones. <laughs> okay, so we got the eyeshadow on. It still needs to be smoothed out a bit. I'm going to go in with some eyeliner, and I'm going to use, I got this in a boxy charm, and it's the Ink 01 Gel Eyeliner Black List, and it comes in a little, like a, it looks like a little pen, ink pen holder. And then, I'm just going to use another Wet n Wild brush, because I don't know where my other one is. And we're going to go on the bottom first. It's just about dried up, I do believe. And when I put eyeliner on, I like to stop about right in the middle because it makes your eyes look wider if you thin it out here and then get it wider more towards the back 
where it don't look like an abrupt stop. And I kind of failed on this one. But yeah, it kind of makes your eyes look wider when you do that. Same with the top. Only go over so far and thin it out if you can. I know I keep snotting and and I hate that when I watch my videos back and I'm going all the time. But I'm sorry, I blowed my nose. I don't know what else to do. It's just excessively running. But I hate to watch my videos and then I'm constantly doing that. So I'm sure you all don't like it either. So I want to apologize. I goofed on that one. Then I think I'm going to put some more color underneath. I'm going to, after my weight loss surgery and I start losing and I get to where I can't fit into any of my clothes, I'm going to have oodles and oodles and oodles of clothes that I cannot wear. So, my intentions are my dresses. I'm hoping I'll still be able to wear those and just put belts on with it, with them. And, um, but my pants... My mom sews, so I'm hoping she can alter a lot of my stuff. Um, but what she can't alter, I'm hoping to put on Poshmark. And some of it's brand new that I've never worn because I'm a shopaholic. That's just all there is to it. I'm a shopaholic. So, that being said, um, y'all watch for my weight loss journey because I'm going to start... What I need to do is start blogging about my weight loss um, and what I eat in a day. But, oh, my God, I eat so many times throughout the day, and it's just little things. I'd be, vo I'd be vlogging all day long. All day long. I'm going in with Elf, and it's in the color Always Cheeky for my blush. My Royals palette that I used on my eyes, I honestly don't know where I got that at. I think I got it from that DH Gate website. Or I either got it at TJ Maxx. But if I can, I'll look for it um, on the computer and see if I can't find it. If I can't find it, I'm sorry in advance. But I will look for it and see if I can't link it. If I can find it at TJ Maxx or somewhere like that. Because it's been a while since I bought that one. I need something just a tad bit darker, I think, on my cheeks. So I'm going to try using this Beauty, Beauty Benefits. And this comes from the dollar store, and I absolutely love it. It's amazing. It lasts all day long. It's very pigmented. And there's not a whole lot of fallout. But yeah, I got it at the Dollar Tree. Did I say Dollar Store? Dollar Tree. Got it at the Dollar Tree. And that's at the one in E-Town, which is about 30, 35 miles from me. I say it takes me 30 minutes but to get there, but I'm a dry, slow driver. So, My husband and my son make fun of me all the time. They say if there's ever a slow car that everybody's passing, that must be Mama. They always make fun of me. Okay, I am using, I got me another new lipstick. And it's the same ones. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte. I think it's Rimmel. Is it Rimmel? Yeah, it's Rimmel. But this one is in the color Rosetta Liquido. Troublemaker. And I like it. It's like a brown. If you can see, it's like a brown color. But I didn't have one that was a brown. I've got... Let me see... 
I bought this one, and it's the Stay Satin, but I don't like it as well. It tends to smear a little bit, but it's Stay Satin, but it's Rimmel as well. Then I have, there's five. I've got five different colors. Two of them almost look to be the same, but they're not. There's not a whole lot of color variations. They're all, they all look kind of like each other. I've got three that kind of look like each other. But anyway, this brown, I'm super excited because I didn't have one like that. And then I'm doing Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. I don't know what color it is. Wherever Walnut. And it's just a little pencil that I got in my Ipsy bag, I think. So I'm going to outline my lips. But I've been doing YouTube for, I know, a year if not a little bit more. Everybody says, just be patient. Uh, be consistent in how you post, which I think I am. I did have a little mishap there for a little while. For a couple of weeks, maybe a little bit more where I didn't post anything. And I honestly, to be all honest with you, I thought about stopping YouTube because I was getting so discouraged. Because there's this other YouTuber I noticed that she, I've been watching her, and she started the same time that I did. And uh, she's already got like 15,000 subscribers. So, you know, hence the fact she's younger. But, Age is just a number. You're only as old as you feel. And I don't feel like I am 48, and I'm proud, 48-year-old woman. I've been through a lot in my lifetime, and I am here to tell you I've loved every bit of my life. Uh, but you're only as old as you feel, and I don't feel 48. I know I probably look it, but I don't feel it. So, what am I doing wrong? You guys give me hints on, I know I could be happier, but I'm not, you know, these YouTubers, some of them get out there and they shake their high knees and stuff. I'm not one to do that. Yeah, I do do that, but I'm not going to do it on YouTube because I just, sometimes I don't think it's appropriate. You can stand there and show what you got to show without having to be boppity around and stuff like that. You know, if you're younger... I guess it, it looks appropriate, but I'm not, so I'm going to stand there and do my age, I guess you would say. I don't know. I may start be boppity in around and showing off my clothes. I don't know. It depends on how I feel about myself that day, I guess. But we are done doing the makeup. You guys tell me what you think, and that that's just killing me right there. That's my, I consider my bad side. But I'm going to go do my eyelashes and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay guys, I went ahead and put my eyelashes on and I wanted to show you what I used for mascara was I got it in a Ipsy box or a BoxyCharm, but it's a Smashbox X-rated mascara volumizer, volumizer. Not my best product. I'm not that into it. It smudges really easy or I find especially on my bottom eyelashes a lot of times I don't use a mascara on the top when I'm using fake eyelashes but this time I did so it's good for if you have long lashes and you want to volumize them it's good for that but it's not real good as you can see for the bottom lashes I kind of smeared them out and uh, I actually poked my eye with it so not the best on that. And then I also powdered all over with Revlon Color Stay. So if I can find that, I got it from Walmart. Not sure on the price, but if I can find it, I'll link it down below as well. But I like 
my trusty Volume Plump Mascara by e.l.f. I like it for my bottom lashes. And I'm going to go in with it because the, the doe food on it, the little thingy here, is not real big. And it's a lot bigger on that, on the Smashbox. So I can get more in there and get more precise. Because I don't have very good lashes, especially on the bottom. So they're hard to get to. Normally I use Wet n Wild. This one, it's the Mega Length Waterproof Mascara. I didn't realize it was waterproof. But usually that's what I use on my bottom one and I love the, the tip of it. If you can see, it's like that. I love that kind. This one really gets in there good on your bottom eyelashes if you have very scarce ones like I do. But I didn't realize that was waterproof. So if I can find that, I'll link it below too. And I got it. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at the dollar store. And it's like a couple of dollars, I think. But I'll link it below as well. I didn't put no... Um, concealer on. I was going to use this Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix. I thought I, I tried it last night when I was playing around with my makeup and I put it on my finger and just dabbed it in because it works well with the heat of your finger and it's not like boom, you know, in your face look. But yeah. Um, I'm going to go and do my hair and I'll be back in just a second. Good look today. Just a basic two layer. I wear a long sleeve because it gets kind of chilly in there sometimes. Has front pockets. And then I wear my black shoes. But these are really comfortable scrub bottoms. They're in a size 2X and they have pockets. Super cute. But back to the makeup. It's all on. You guys tell me what you think. We'll do a review throughout the day of how it wears see how long it lasts because i do get pretty sweaty throughout the day so you guys tell me what you think you guys tell me what you think of the makeup routine this morning and if there's anything i can do different and i'll check in throughout the day y'all have a great hey one guys it is 10 41 and extremely extremely hot outside but thought I'd check in and let you guys see. I put it on. I was done at about 6 o'clock this morning. So it's been about 4, 4 and a half hours. And it's still going strong. It's hanging in there. I'm liking it. It's not rubbed off that I can see. The sun's in my eyes. So it's not rubbed off anywhere that I can see. I get you in there close. It's very lightweight. And it's not tacky at all. I did set it with powder, but other than that, I'm loving it so far. So I'll check back in soon. Okay, guys, it is now 12 o'clock, and I'm checking in again. I'm over here in the shade so you can see a little bit better, but I'm still liking it. I haven't been blowing my nose as much, but I have been rubbing on my face a little, but I'm still liking it. So we'll check back in a little later. And see, it's looking a little blotchy on my face though. See that right there? But we'll check in a little bit later. We'll give it six to eight hours and see how it stands up. Okay, hey guys, it is 2.02 and I'm still liking it. Can you all tell? whether it's hanging on. Boy, you can still see my freckles in it, can't you? Huh? If y'all know of a foundation besides the IT foundation that would cover up these freckles, because I would like to have a day or two in my life with no freckles. But, and I wear sunscreen, a lot of sunscreen. So, but I still have sun damage from when I was a kid. I never wore sunscreen. But yeah, it's hard to correct that once you once you've accomplished it. But yeah, um, we'll check in again about four o'clock and then again before I go home at six o'clock because I am going to the dirt track races tonight and I might videotape a little bit. 
so yeah so stay tuned I'll be guys, back it is four o'clock just two more hours and it's time to go home but it's starting to wear off it I mean a lot more than what I had thought I went in the bathroom and really looked in the mirror and you can tell around the nose and the mouth basically my t-zone it's really worn off so I may try it again with a different um, primer tomorrow and see how it wears then but and then the difference between the brush and the sponge there really is no difference I like I like them both applicating them that way so yeah that's all I got for right now and I'll check back in at six o'clock before I take it off and get ready for tonight see you guys okay soon. guys I'm home it is about 6 30 I've already jumped out of my work clothes and cleaned up and I'm gonna do a uh, refreshing up my makeup and I just wanted to get on here and show you how it's done it's rubbed off on my cheeks and my nose and my chin and probably my forehead can't really tell because the Sun is back there but yeah it is lightweight it's not tacky which I like um, and for the price eight dollars and some odd cents I think is good um, it's not my favorite by no means but I do like it I like the the look of it how it looks on the skin I do like that my husband's starting to mow so you're not going to be able to hear me in a few but if you like this video be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below and I hope you guys have the rest of a wonderful Saturday bye guys love you bunches